Good morning. It's really early. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a little vlog, baby. I today am going to Chicago because uh, I need to sign it upwards of 10,000 posters, possibly even 10,000 posters. It was the channel's anniversary, as so many of you guys know, and so we did 10 year anniversary posters. And so, instead of having uh, SCP, the merch company, ship pallets upon pallets of posters to my house, I was like, why don't I just come to Chicago for like two days and sign the posters? Uh, and then, you know, you don't have to ship them here. I don't have to ship them back. So I thought I'd do a little Chicago vlog just because, you know, why not? And then depending on how much time there is, and I didn't want to make sure I'm not like disrupting people's work or anything, uh, maybe I can show you around uh, where all the merch is made. Maybe I can make some merch myself. I have no idea. I'm just saying that now. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, um, but. Let's go on a plane, I guess. I uh, I forgot that I had my camera. <laughs> Good morning. I'm in Chicago now. Well, not Chicago. <laughs> hey, this little guy. This is to move the thing. I mean, not Chicago. I wouldn't really call this Chicago. <laughs> um, but it's time to uh, to go to SCP and uh, sign some MF posters, my guy. But you know, you didn't really miss anything yesterday. All I did was get on a plane and come here and I, now I'm at a comfort inn. So whoever's editing this can just put a travel montage from any other vlog that I've ever done and it'll be the exact same thing as what I would have filmed yesterday. So, uh, you know, it's fine. So here, whoever's editing, cut to the, the travel vlog from yesterday, okay? Nice, I'll see you after. Here we go. We're here in Chicago, baby. <laughs> Ooh, Damn, dude. mommy. Okay. Hello. I got a rental car, and for the first time in my life, because now I'm 25, I could rent it without other fees. And they had a special going on because the other cars were $95 a day. It's really expensive to rent a fucking car. I'm here for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It was $500 to rent a car. Granted, I did get the upgrade, but hold on! The upgrade! It was, I think it was $92 a day to rent basically any other car. But then they said for $102, you could get a mystery luxury vehicle. And so this is the mystery luxury vehicle that I got. It's a BMW i4 or something. It's nice. It's got the beige interior because I'm going into retirement. <laughs> if I'm honest, I don't really like I wouldn't buy this car unless BMW paid me money to tell you that <laughs> <laughs> The stuff down here is what really gets me so you have to push in this thing on the side and bring it down like it just like they tried to make it too fancy where it like feels not intuitive and I mean I'm only I've only been driving this car for a day but every time I'd go to change into driver over like I have to look down and like it I don't know okay I just don't I just don't know anyway though we are going to go to McDonald's and get some breakfast because I'm hungry I had a very funny moment while I was showering where I was using the bar soap, which, can I tell you something really quick? I hate bar soap. Bar soap sucks, dude. I've gotten anxious because there's people working on the roof and they've, they started looking at me and smiling while I'm recording and I don't, I, I, I don't like that. Anyhow, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, the soap. I was showering and I had the soap as you do while when you're showering. 
and I dropped it in my immediate, no one was watching. I wasn't filming, but I just went, no! <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it made me laugh and you know that's what's important here is that I'm making myself laugh Thank you comfort in and sweets for the lovely stay. I'm staying here again tonight, but it's it's important to thank them thank the oh fuck! I should have brought a little a little suction cup guy. I also didn't listen to the audio of any of these clips So hopefully it's fine, but it might not be and if that's the case, then Justin or Nervely will just have to ADR the entire thing. So, it's not on me anymore. It's on them. Alright, I'll see you at McDonald's. Ooh, baby, don't you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Ooh, baby, and you know what it's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Hi, could I please get a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, please? Uh, and then could I get, could I get hash browns with that? And then a large iced coffee with cream and sugar, please? Awesome, thank you. I, uh, I didn't, I forgot, like, how to order food. I, I couldn't remember what a hash brown was, if I'm honest. I was like, I, yeah, I want the things that are like fries, but in the morning. <laughs> the things that are fries, but in the morning. Why does it look so orange? Doesn't it look orange? Does it look orange? Is it orange? Make it orange. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. What is going on here? You have to loop around and then go back around. Oh my god. This is a little scary. I'm gonna loop around here real quick. Yo, 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 yo. And then I'm gonna shift it and reverse it. And, oh, oh, okay. I was all right. I was very clearly looping around the back in, and that person just went. But that's okay. Maybe I'm the asshole. I am driving a BMW, so I wouldn't blame them. We're eating breakfast. What are we eating? Let me show you. Here, let me let me give you one of these. Oh. Nice. That sure is a nice coffee. That is pretty good. McDonald's coffee, I feel like, is slept on. It's like, it's always, you know what you're getting every time. It's always gonna be the same. It's consistent and it's consistently decent. All right. Do you like this Dutch? Uh, I almost said Dutch oven. <laughs> you guys like this Dutch oven? Um, Dutch angle? This is a hashed brown. I kind of like how it's keeping me out of focus, but the steering wheel in focus. What else do we have in here? Oh uh, yeah, we got the sausage egg and Mc, uh, sausage McGriddle. Also, couldn't remember what this was called. I was like, did I saw it? Uh, bake? I started with bacon. Here's a rule, guys. <laughs> My friend Sam told me when I was in high school, and I was like, that makes so much sense. We were going to the cafeteria in the morning. This was before school started. And they always had breakfast sandwiches there. And so we would go, Sam and I went to get a breakfast sandwich. And I was like, yeah, can I have a bacon, egg, and cheese? And they said, yeah. They gave it to me. Sam got a sausage, egg, and cheese. And he sort of gave me this look when I got the bacon, egg, and cheese. And I was like, what? What's... What's up with the bacon, egg, and cheese? And he was like, well, here's the thing. Here's why you, you always go with the sausage, egg, and cheese. At the school lunch or at McDonald's, at a place where it may not be as good. And this was some of the best advice I've ever gotten in my life. He was like, sausage, they give you the little sausage patties, right? You can't really fuck up the sausage patty. It's pretty much the same everywhere, you know? Unless you're going to some like fancy ass place, like it's, it's always going to be like decent. Like this sausage, egg, and like the sausage, it's going to be fine but bacon bacon you can really fuck up bacon you can burn it you know like it can be like just really shitty bacon and you cannot get a lot of it and so he was like when in doubt the sausage egg and cheese over the bacon egg and cheese always and i have lived by those rules to this day if i'm getting a breakfast sandwich and i'm not at like a nicer place i'm like all right i'm gonna get a sausage egg and cheese because i know 
that the quality is gonna be there. But with the bacon, sometimes it's hit or miss. So just a little wisdom I'm trying to continue spreading. I'm gonna eat this breakfast now. It's got a little M on it. It's got a little M on it in the nose. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Just like Sam said it would be. That's enough of you watching me eat. Here it is, baby. SCP. It's a building. We are here. We are at SCP. To do the signing of the posters, I've arrived. I am just waiting for Becca, who is one of the lovely people that works here, uh, to arrive in just a minute and open the doors, and then we're gonna go inside. I'm not gonna film things like when I go in, because I don't know if people know, one, that I'm coming, and so I don't wanna like disrupt people's work by being like, whoa, this is great! Because if they don't know that somebody's coming that doesn't normally work there, it might be disruptive, I don't know. But I also don't wanna shove a camera in people's faces uh, ever. So uh, I'm gonna go in and just like to get the tour on my own. And then I'll show you guys later uh, when I deem it's appropriate to do so. Vlogging is <laughs> is fun and it's something that I want to do more of, but it's something that I also have to get used to because I, I don't necessarily like doing stuff so publicly because I feel intrusive to other people. And especially when it's like someplace like this where I'm going to places where people work, I don't want to just have my camera out because that feels extra intrusive and people did not sign up to be on camera at their workplace. So I want to also make sure that if I'm filming stuff that I talk to people and I'm like, hey, is it cool if I film something real quick? I'll make sure that you're not in frame if you don't want to be. But yeah, I do want to do more vlogging stuff and like show you shit that I do. But at the same time, um, I think it's important that I experience things for myself too and not make my entire life content. But Two, when I do show you stuff, I want to make sure that I'm respectful of, of everybody else that may or may not be on camera. And that even goes for like other stuff too, because a lot of people are like, film a day in the life. But I know that like, there's obviously moments where like Mika doesn't want to be on camera. And like, if, when I first wake up, sometimes I'm like, I don't really want to be on camera right now. So uh, you just got to make sure that everybody who may or may not be on camera is chill with it. Because you don't want to be that person. I need to get a haircut and, well, not necessarily, I need to get it re-dyed. I was supposed to the other day and then I didn't. I canceled last minute. <sighs> Whoops. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this guy. Nice. Hello. How you doing? It's me and... Stevie. Stevie is the mastermind behind SCP and we're here in the main warehouse. So we're gonna go on, we just had a little tour, but we're gonna go on the reverse tour. This is, where are we? We're right. in the fulfillment division. This is where all the orders ship out. Something that I forgot about, it's Saturday, so nobody's here. You wanna jump on? I do wanna jump on, really bad. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you standing straight up? Yep. Oh, this is scary. This is so scary. This is better than Uber. <laughs> this is great. Whoa, which way am I going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a wonderful climb. Come on, Rebecca, keep up. Come on. I'm like, pretty no. close. This thing's speedy. It goes fast. You just take off, you should take off full power through this little. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to die. So these are the screen printing machines, question mark? Automatic screen printing machines. Nice. And dryers. This is where all the print game posts are printed, right? Wow. And this is where Unisonis was for two or three months. Two or three months. Because there was a different warehouse, right? Or am oh. I incorrect? Well, we printed Unisonis in the other warehouse for 11 months. Mm -hmm. And then here for like five months to keep up with all your orders. Getting off. Oh, this is the ink. Do you want to eat some? No. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like this would solidify in my esophagus. Yeah, I would suffocate. It is kind of satisfying. <laughs> but that's cool idea. Damn. It's like ice cream. It's like frosting. It's like, uh, what's it called? Fluff. <laughs> so this is where what happens? Uh, time 
Photography. They're all the streams are made, so like all the individual colors for every shirt. <laughs> Should we go into the closet? Let's go into what did you call it? Arizona? Arizona. This is Arizona because it has to be how hot? Like Oh, maybe 100 degrees, no it's, humidity. It's toasty. Yeah, it's toasty in here. This, I don't like it. This is where you're sleeping today. Oh, good. <laughs> sleeping? <laughs> you mean I get to sleep? Maybe. This is embroidery. This is where the embroidery happens. Yeah. You know? All right. Whoa! <laughs> you do got it. Just been going for a ride. Is that a feed me my mushroom spray? Your mushroom spray? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. How many spritzes? Four. Four? Ready? Oh, my face. <laughs> I don't know how to apply <laughs> mushroom spray. Okay, ready? <laughs> Am I doing it correctly? I don't know how to do it. Ready? <laughs> really far away. <laughs> really far away? Oh, close. Or closer? Closer. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Or, I don't know how to do this! I didn't know that I was have, gonna have to apply mushroom spray no, today. We did napkins. We did napkins. <sighs> I don't know where napkins <laughs> are. <laughs> Everyone for the day. I'm going to draw out of my beard. Here, let's get a close up. <laughs> what the fuck? I, yeah, did not, I, I did not sign up for this. I did a really good job. You did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, there's Unisonis. And Billie Eilish. Tyler, I need help here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I ruined everything. What the fuck? It's okay. It's okay. I still love I it. really like your define urgent. Black. Oh, yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to show me? Or should I get to signing these posters? Well, I'll show you the showroom. The showroom? That's the um, this is the showroom. Show Ethan your favorite merch you've ever made. The showroom. Fun size. Right. Custom shoes are my favorites. These are sweet. Yeah. But uh, no Unisonis stuff. Just a copy of Unisonis. Yeah. Damn. You did Swiffer? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, these are actually these are probably my favorite. Ah, pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, do I get a cowboy hat? Jojo Shake Bar? This is free advertising. Addy, I don't know what this place is. We should have done prayer candles with Unisonis. I feel like I mentioned it and it got rejected. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> we'll make them. Maybe the for other, 10 years. Maybe the other person rejected it. Hmm. That, that really other guy. Good times. It was fun. It was fun. I missed those days. Let's do it again. No. <laughs> no. Do you guys have any of Mika's new merch? Is any of that printed? Can I steal it? Even though I bought one? I just, I just want the new shark one. What did you I'll look it up. I'll look to make sure it's like Oh. I mean, she's always been around the same size as Spencer. What are you doing there, Spencer? Signing posters. <laughs> but you know what? Today. today is a good day. So the signing has begun. Been signing for a couple hours now. I've got all these boxes. Uh, it's just one pallet, so it's not too bad. It's 410 posters per box. Here's my little station. Wow, look at that. And stream is right here. Huh? Chat, say hi to the vlog. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. You can see how dusty my laptop screen is. Hi. Wow. Hi, YouTube. Wow. Wow. Chat, hold on one minute, okay? Because I have to give the vlog a scooter update. Hello, vlog. When I, when I went to uh, Walmart to get markers, I also got this scooter so I can ride around in between uh, and just, you know, get away for a moment because it's important to have these moments where you just get away. And here's where my merch is stored. Wow. Isn't that cool? It's right along here. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy, chat? That is crazy. You're not chat, you're YouTube. But we're going back now. <laughs> uh, it's only like 2.30 p.m. I can't wait for like three o'clock in the morning, Ethan. 
What will he be up to? Anyway, I'm gonna go back to signing posters, so see you later. Oh boy. <laughs> So after about almost 13 hours of signing, I am all done. I didn't do 10,000. I, I severely, severely underestimated how long that would take. Thankfully though, only about 3,100 posters were sold, which at first glance you might think like, oh, only 3,100 out of 10,000. 3,100 is a lot of posters. I'm extremely, extremely happy with that. So thank you guys so much, seriously, for getting so many of them. Because I, I basically was like, I want to do 10,000 for 10 years. Like, even if we don't sell out, I just like the correlation of that number. Um, so I think what we're going to do actually is I, I signed about 3,500 of them and I might have them ship me another box or two, depending on the sales in the next few days. And then we're going to put just the posters not signed up on the store, I think for like 15 bucks. It was a really, really fun time. I wish that I had more time to film stuff. Uh, and I'll probably film a little bit of stuff tomorrow. I'm going to go to their uh, their place and maybe maybe print a few things of my own and maybe mess around with the machines on there um, But it was a super fun stream It was super fun having Andre out because he came out for the last bit of the stream honestly And uh, it was very fun hanging out with you guys. So anybody who was there. Thank you for just chilling and hanging out It was so much fun. I had a great time, but now I'm gonna go back to the hotel. Let's go Home sweet home. I don't think I ever showed you guys the weird thing about my room. It seems normal, right? First glance, bathroom, bedroom. But then, creep around the corner. <laughs> I'm not, not super sure what th th this is about, but whatever. It is about 1 a.m. So I am going to get ready for bed and go to bed and wake up tomorrow and we will go to Second City. We'll do some fun stuff in the actual like factory, if you will, the actual warehouse. Today was really fun, really good. I'm sorry that I didn't film more while I was actually there. I just kind of wanted to get the stuff signed and everything. I planned on filming a little bit more, but once I was done with the stream, I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep, so. Night night. I'm uh I don't know really where I am, if I'm honest. I just kinda woke up here. I've just been going in and out of these rooms for what feels like hours now. They're all the same. Every door leading to the same place. I think Something's watching me. Or maybe, maybe waiting for me to slip up and make a mistake. And I'm in the uh, back rooms. <laughs> I'm just in the back rooms. I am back at the warehouse this morning. Hey, on the like upper levels of one of uh, of up here, they just have like different offices and stuff, but they're currently moving a bunch of stuff from their old warehouse, well not their old warehouse, their other warehouse into here. So they're still in like the moving process, so nothing's really done over here at all. See, look at all these boxes and things. Wow, those are my body pillows. But I am back here this morning. I leave tonight, later this afternoon, to go back to LA. But I am here this morning, one, to sign more posters. I'm gonna sign 
Only like a couple more boxes, I think. And then I'm gonna head over to the main warehouse and say bye to Stevie and maybe see, I don't know because it's Sunday and I don't think anybody's gonna be there, but I'm gonna see maybe, I wonder if I can print a shirt because that would be kind of fun to see how the machines actually work. But I'm gonna sign uh, another box or two just while I'm here. The stream last night was really, really fun, but I just got to a point where I was like, I feel physically ill. Can't remember if I showed you, but this is where my merch is. And it's all, uh, it's all in here on these on these shelves over here. So any any merch that you've gotten right on these shelves. Wow, isn't that crazy? But yeah, this is just, this warehouse is 150,000 square feet. Absolutely massive, but it, it's so weird. I mean, it makes sense because it's Sunday and people don't come, come in on the weekends, but it's crazy just like being completely alone in this massive warehouse with just like surrounded by this maze of boxes. But yeah, this, this place is huge. Absolutely, yidge. So yeah, I'm just gonna sign another box or two and then go over to the other warehouse, say about to Stevie, maybe see if I can print a shirt or something. Then I'm gonna drive back to the airport and uh, go home, see the doggies, see Mika, see the rats. And then I'm leaving again. A day after that for a 16 hour flight, 18 hour flight. It'll be fun. It'll be very fun. So it's time to scoot a little more though. Gonna do a lap.